Welcome back to another video. I am super excited for this one because I am reviewing and taking to the range a 6.8 Western in the Fierce Twisted Rage. Again, this is in 6.8 Western and I think you guys are going to like this video. So I'm lucky to have the owner of this rifle with me and he's just going to talk about uh, the specs of this Fierce Twisted Rage. Yep, so... It's based on, the range is based off Seiko 85 action. Um, I got a 6.8 Western, uh, 26 inch barrel I wanted, so I got it in that. And then I got the port style muzzle brake. That reduces recoil really well, but this cartridge doesn't kick too much in my experience when I've shot it previous to this. And and uh, what's the bolt throw on this? This seems pretty, it's not 70, is it? It's a 70 degree bolt throw. Oh, okay. Throw. It seems shorter. 65. Okay. It's, I can't remember exactly, it's one or the other. It's very smooth though. Mm -hmm. That's one nice thing about the Seiko 85s. It is a two position safety with a uh, unlock right here. Okay. So I like, like the browning. Lock. Yep, like the Brownings, your Winchester XPR, okay. A bolts. And then uh, what kind of trigger do you have on this? Uh, it is a Vixen Andy Dakota. Okay. So. And what is it set at? Two pounds. It's adjustable from one pound to three pounds on it. Okay. So. Yeah. Overall, I, I think this rifle is beautiful. It's extremely nice. And let's go ahead and talk about uh, the groups that you're getting with this. What's your bullet of choice? So my bullet of choice right now is I hand load the Burger 170 EOL. Um, it shoots about... 2970 feet per second and I'm getting usually half inch groups off the bipod. That's awesome. So it's exactly what you're kind of expecting mm -hmm. out of a custom built 68 Western. Yep, factory custom. There's I mean the only thing that's really big and custom with it is the barrel length I spec out a 26 inch barrel just because I wanted to get the velocity pretty easily with it. Yeah. And not really run into too many pressure issues. So he's had really good success with the 170 Burger EOL, and I just happen to have some 165 grain Acubon long range. And I, well, I'm really excited to try these out in a 6.8 Western. And uh, I guess, what are your thoughts on this and what are you hoping for, for your 6.8? Um, obviously I'm hoping that it groups really well. Um, I prefer getting around 3,000 feet per second. Uh, my effective range, I limit myself to about 800 yards. Okay. Um, so I want it to, this bullet to have enough velocity to really expand on impact out to that range. Right. And I like giving a little bit of a velocity cushion. So at yeah. least 2,000, 2,100 feet per second at 800 yards is kind of what I'm looking at. So yeah. And that'd be relative to the elevation we're hunting at. Of course. And then we've loaded it up with H1000 today, which is a really good powder, I think, for 6.8 Western. Um, we're using Hodgdon data, which everyone tells me that's a 6.8 Western owner, that it's really watered down. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, just in what I've loaded beforehand and gone off of, I've been able to push. I've used IMR 4831 and uh, Hodgdon 4831 shortcut. And I've been able to really stand on it and get those 170s going three grand with no signs of pressure. Okay. So it, I have high hopes this longer barrel, slower burning powder, it should be a really good recipe. Yeah, I, I think we're going to break 3,000 feet per second today. I'm hoping at least. I think it should with a 26 oh, inch we'll, barrel. Yeah, we'll be at there close or way beyond. Yeah. One or the other. So speaking of the range, let's, uh, let's go and uh, see how this thing shoots. Yeah, let's go. 59 grains, 2875. I'm going to go ahead now from 60 grains. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Go ahead. 2949. This is basically a max load. Yep. So 61 grains. Yep. Max load. Go ahead and fire when ready. Get like a good. You can do this 
29.74. Now our last one, 62 grains. I mean, it's natural to me. I can't really tell you how to do it. It was too loud. About an yeah. inch lower. Find your way. Go. Find your way. Go. That's not bad. Won't get you out of my cup. I'm kinda of nervous. This is crazy. I'm a little crazy. I'm a little crazy. It's hot. You may approach the bench. You may discharge your firearm. Go ahead. That was done a long time ago, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so like, I probably would have got yelled at. So one of the guys. So one of the guys. Okay, so we're back from the range, and we're just going to look at the first group of the day: 59 grains of H1000, which. You remember it gave us 2875 feet per second and uh, it's also the best group of the day with a 0.844 inch group um, I mean my hopes was to get at least one group sub MOA uh, but and so we did it uh, it's not the velocity I think either of us wanted to see with a sub MOA group nope I mean we want a little bit quicker in the group to tighten up, especially with a fierce rifle. It comes with a sub half inch MOA, or sub half MOA guarantee. Yeah. So. And one thing that we need to talk about is, I just went off Hodgson's data on seating depth. Yeah. I think these bullets are jumping quite a bit. Oh yeah. So, um, from, and. Yeah, from talking to other people, the ABLRs are very seating depth sensitive doesn't matter to the cartridge some of them like it long some like it far yeah even the burger eols are the same everyone says give them a, at least a hundred thou jump yeah just uh and they shoot well i mean we've had it on this channel where the 270 give it a lot of jump and it shot well yeah i mean in my half inch groups on it like it's seated not even close to the lands and i get really good groups out of it yeah i just have noticed in my personal 270 that i had to load it uh almost touching to the lands to get these to tighten up so um i think the next i mean let's let's look at the other groups first next 60 and 61 grains uh this was right around 29 to 29.50 feet per second if i remember correctly so that's better unfortunately the groups were not good at all um a two inch group with 60 grains and then looks to be a little i don't know 1.2 inch group with 61 grains yeah Rifle did not like that at all. <laughs> no. The last group of the day, 62 grains, which got us a, the velocity we were looking for, 3,051 feet per second. And, man, those two first shots, I was like, oh, yeah, this is going to do it. Oh, yeah, we were excited on those. And then that third one, you get all excited, maybe a bit too jumpy. <laughs> And yeah, then you just pull you it. It's, all, it's always that third shot. It happened with my grandpa, too. Yeah. It, it, it just runs in the family, I guess. <laughs> well, I was the one that's shooting it, so. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> so uh, what I want to do with this is do this one again because it's the velocity we want, and I'm just going to play at the seating depth. So the next yeah. one, I think I'm going to seat them out a little bit farther to see, see if we can get these to be, I don't know, half MOA or even just sub MOA would be awesome.
with that velocity. Overall, this fierce rifle was a blast to shoot. And you talked about just how different the recoil is and just how mild it is. It's just a small little pushback and he's true. This thing was awesome to shoot. And I do think there's hope for these 165 ABLRs. And I think we are going to get this to be half MOA eventually. But thanks guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.